Hundreds of final preparations before the opening were waiting with bated breath. The Peugeot 308 is voted Car of the Year 2014. The hostesses arrive at the stands, how did they train for this? Whether it's a mystery or a buzz, the major brands are creating an event. The cars really need to dazzle. We're just a few hours away from the opening of the car show at Geneva and hundreds of people are still working hard on the 900 cars on show. It's a race now, 110,000 square meters to clean. Some of them will have to work all night to make sure that the stands look perfect. We are cleaning all these things. I mean, floor, cars, uh, offices inside, uh, restaurant, because tomorrow and the day after tomorrow there are two most important days. But the preparations for the building of a stand start months earlier. This year, like many other manufacturers, Maserati is inaugurating a completely new exhibition space. Their challenge? Create and build an innovative stand in under two weeks. The stand's completely new and has been redesigned. It's bigger and has a new look thanks to prestigious materials. The final result will be incredible. L'effetto finale sarà sicuramente dirompente, interessante, efficace. The red carpet will be laid and cleaned just before the opening. Well, I know that we'll be working until it's finished. We arrived at midday today and we'll be here until midnight or one or two in the morning. And there's no doubt that everything will be sparkling to welcome more than 10,000 journalists. The Peugeot 308 has been voted Car of the Year 2014. A jury of 58 automotive journalists representing 21 countries chose the Peugeot model over six other finalists. A prestigious achievement for the compact family car from the French brand, following in the footsteps of the Volkswagen Golf, which scooped the prize last year. That car was launched in a very competitive segment. We improved a lot compared to the previous version, but we did some very radical uh, and innovative solutions, like for the interior, and I think that both of them make us to deserve that prize. With 307 points, the 308 stole a march on the two innovative electric cars, the BMW i3 and the Tesla S. I think the jury stayed a little bit with the conventional technology because the electric isn't still re really proven and the electric technology is also very expensive. This is a car that, that for the mass market and of course with, with a low CO2 it will have a great effect in total. Peugeot will unveil a world premiere at the show, the SW version of this 308, destined for success. The hostesses add a touch of glamour to the Geneva car show. Yasmina, a German student, is discovering the car show for the first time. Um, I'm working for Hyundai. Um, some kind of modeling, a photo shooting. Yeah, I'm so excited, very excited, yeah. But sometimes it's also a love of cars that drives the hostesses to the stands. Nelly, 21, is fulfilling a dream. Because I like cars and I know a little bit about them. I'm really happy and very enthusiastic and I'll be putting all my energy into this job. Work started several weeks ago with days of preparation to train the teams. Most of us know each other already, but we're really working on this team spirit, which is very important at a show like this. Smiles and a friendly manner, the hostesses of Geneva are back again this year to offer you a warm welcome to the stands of the show. Some are hiding, others are flaunting themselves on the screens. The show's major premieres will be revealed in just a few hours. While we wait, manufacturers like Audi and Citroën have opted for different strategies to create a buzz and become the star of the show. The C4 Cactus is out in the open now, at the stand, but also online with a flashy teaser. And again on posters right up to the entrance to the show. The C4 Cactus is on a mission to make an impression. 
The C4 Cactus is of course a new car, but it's also a new positioning for the brand, the manifesto of the new Citroen. And it was important for the brand to organise an international event to explain this new positioning. At Audi, however, it's another story. They're cultivating an air of mystery around the new TT3. Hidden on the stand, the TT is revealing itself little by little. Online, you can see a glimpse of a wing, then the back of the sports car. Audi's maintaining its mystery and tickling the visitor's curiosity. Who will be the first to discover it? Two contrasting strategies to become queen of the show. Don't forget to come back for tomorrow's edition to discover all the premieres at the show. Thank you.